Well, we're at the uh, finishing stages of the Sacramento Passive House. Finally, job done. Uh, we, you saw the outside shots earlier. Now this is the entry and come on in. So an important thing to see here is this door. It's beautiful, super thick, insulated, wood, custom, nice thick door, really nice operation. Seals with all the gaskets, got strong adjustable hinges, so really nice feature. And then this is the uh, new home. Here we are at the door that goes to the backyard. I uh, just wanted to highlight this door. It's a lift and slide, very heavy because we've got the big triple pane glass. It's about 750 pounds, but the operation is great. So right now it's down on its gaskets, both top and bottom side, and then you go like this. So that's a lift operation. This came up slightly, and then this just slides open really easily. And then back in reverse, it comes this way, hits a little cushioning, and then you just Gently slide it there, and then as I go like that, it goes down onto the gaskets and seals nice and airtight. We're in the kitchen here at Sacramento Passive House. Just wanted to show the, the kitchen exhaust system. So primarily it's good because it's against a wall, so we're not losing too much um, of the fumes. We have this Fantech system, which is uh, balanced with the makeup air. So I'm just turning that up now. Um, but basically the same amount of air that gets sucked in here is getting blown into um, the room there. So there's a kind of a makeup loop. It's, got, it's throwing into the room the same amount of CFM as it's pulling out of here. So we're not creating bad, um, pressure imbalances in the house. And also there's silences on both of these. So this is on full right now. It's pulling a good amount of air, but it's not too loud. So really love the system. It's worked well and keeps all the air pressures balanced in the house. I'm here in the pantry. Um, Another thing we love about this house, and I think most jobs in the future will be installing these span panels. It's really great. It, this is a sub panel, but it is amazing because it allows so much control. You can control all the circuits with your phone. It's not gimmicky. This is really a powerful tool that can show energy use. It can show if an appliance is going bad, say your refrigerator all of a sudden starts using more power you can get alerted from that because it'll, it'll pick up that something's going wrong. Um, and then if there's a power outage and you're running off batteries, you can really control what circuits you're using just with the app, which is very easy to use. And it uses conventional breakers. So there's no like issues with um, this technology um, phasing out. Um, these breakers are very common. So really, really great system. So we're pumped to use it and we'll be putting them in a lot more jobs, I'm sure. So this is not necessarily a high performance detail, but I think it's a great um, detail for a lot of homes in the bathrooms in the house that are using the wall hung toilets. I think the great thing is it's super easy to clean around the side of it and underneath it. So nice touch there. Okay, we're at the, uh, the lungs of the passive house. This is a HIV system by Brink. Really like this system. Uh, the heat exchange happens down here and filtration, so you can open that, change the filters, 
for both streams of air. We've got that outdoor air coming in, and we've got air going into the rooms. We've got fresh air to the rooms and extract air from the rooms. Those are manifolds that then distribute everywhere. Uh, the touch panel there is very easy to work with. So it's nice that this unit's kind of in the middle of the room, accessible, easy to maintain. And like I said, that's really given that fresh filtered air to the house 24 seven. So super important. We're up in the primary bedroom, just wanted to highlight the windows. These are uh, wood windows by Fenster, tilt turn operation, um, a wood window with triple glazing. So I'm just gonna show the operation. Like I said, tilt turn. So you can go this way and it swings in. And the beauty of that, you won't use this in operations much, but cleaning. You can access the whole window and clean it really fast. We'll finish that later. And then the other operation is tilt. And this is your primary uh, operation. So it just tilts in to give ventilation. So you can leave it open like that all the time. No one can break in. If it rains, the water's not coming in the house. Just really good for, for ventilation. Um, so yeah, beautiful windows. So another important detail with a high performance house with good air sealing and air management is what kind of dryer you use. Uh, ideally, a heat pump dryer is great because then you don't have to worry about getting a pressure imbalance when you're pushing air out of the house through the dryer system. So here, the clients have decided on two systems, which is great. There's this more conventional where you've got a washer and dryer. So again, a heat pump dryer. And then they also have this, which is a combination all-in-one washer and heat pump dryer. So they'll still be able to do laundry fairly quickly because this on one cycle will take some time, but they'll be able to use both systems pending what their daily needs are. So pretty neat. When it rains a lot, the surface water will come into these drain inlets. This is in the backyard. We are just wanting when there's too much rain to not let it go towards the house and the foundation. So we have drain inlet there and we're capturing all the roof water. So we have the gutter up here coming to this downspout connects to the system. It's all six inch pipe, large pipe, so it can really be maintained and, and work well over a long, long period of time. We have another downspout there. It's decoratively wrapped with some rocks, but it has another drain inlet like this. All this pipe here is slightly downhill, heading towards the front yard where we connect with the swale. We're back in the front yard, come down the side. Also, there's water that can come up into this planter, and then there's the main swale over there. So, uh, great design. So when it rains, uh, with this property, we didn't want a lot of the water heading towards the foundation or under the house because it's relatively low. It's at an existing foundation level and we want to keep it dry under there. So we're managing the water, but we also don't want to just push it onto the street and overwhelm the city services. And we, we want that water to soak into the ground. So we've managed to divert it towards the front um, with designs from Anna Asnes Consulting and Nature's Harmony <coughs> did the installation here of all the landscape which is really good um, so what we have here i'm standing in the swale so it's kind of a, a low spot but it's it's hollowed out to hold water we are bringing water from the back and all the roof all the downspouts are connected to basically to where i'm standing we have the rock garden and we're going to drop in a still picture the homeowners gave us a picture of it when it's full of water when we had a heavy rain and it, it worked tremendously they said filled up and then soaked in um, it, if it got too fill it will eventually flow into the street but it's worked really well and held the water for the storms that we've had this season so next to me here is a is a drain inlet well it's really an outlet so that's slightly lower 
than all the other locations capturing from the backyard and from the downspouts. And it's connected to large six inch piping, which really allows it to flow smoothly and be maintained. So it'll, the water will bubble up in here, make its way through this rock garden. We have another drain outlet over here that's also capturing some water. So everywhere I've just walked will be filled with water. And then when the rain stops or slows, it, it soaks in and then provides water to the aquifer, to the plants, to the tree roots. Um, so really great system. Love how it was installed and designed. Well, thanks for joining us on this tour as we have wrapped up this Sacramento Passive House, the first certified Passive House in Sacramento. We're very proud of it. Very thankful for our team, all the Good Space employees really on board with building better and uh, enabling us to achieve this, get the certification. The house is certified. We've crossed that barrier. So the homeowners have moved in. Everyone's happy. Um, we're very thankful to work with a great uh, subcontractors and designers too. Bronwyn Barry with Passive House BB was the architect, just did a fantastic job. Her experience made it easier for us to also achieve this, this outcome. And Steve Mann with Home Energy Services, he did the consulting on the Passive House requirements to help us get to certification. So that, that was really good. Big thanks to the homeowners. They're very gracious in, in their desire to, to build better, create a better home and allowing us to, to work with them to create this uh, milestone project. So yeah, while we were sad to leave it, we're very proud of it and looking forward to getting on to the next project. Thanks for joining us. And that's a wrap, everybody.